Hey, this is David Pingree. We're out here at the Racer X Shootouts for the 2013 450s. Uh, had a great day today. We had some great test riders with us. Had some rain. We had some different weather. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. So, after about a million laps, uh, for me, the clear-cut winner in this in this shootout for me was the Suzuki 450. Um, I can jump on and just right away I'm comfortable. Um, you know, in the past it was pretty close with a few bikes, and for me this year was just hands down, I get on, I can ride that bike the speed that I can go easier than I can ride any of the other ones. Um, the engine's strong, but it's very smooth. Suspension's a little stiff for me, just it's oversprung, you know, which most of the bikes are. I gotta really open up uh, compression clickers and add extra sag and things like that. So the suspension's not perfect, but even stiff, um, it felt to me the most comfortable and just the best all around package. The thing I like best about it is I can turn so easily on that thing. Um, carve a line inside, rail around a turn, it just turns the best. And uh, to me, when I can get around corners easy, um, that's, that's just when I'm the most comfortable. Uh, the second best bike, which was a surprise to me, I really like the KTM 350. Uh, you do have to rev it a little bit more, but um, it was just a lot of fun. I was, it was a lot more easy to handle through really rough sections. We had some parts of the track today that got rutted and uh, very bumpy, and it was for me, I was more in control of that back. I feel like if I was going to do 20 minutes or 30 minutes, probably not 30 minutes anymore, but let's say 20 minutes, I could ride that bike fast the whole time, where the other bikes just get to be a handful when you start getting tired. So really like that bike. Great brakes like all the KTMs have. Um, super strong engine. To me, a much stronger 350 engine than they had in the past. More torquey. Doesn't give up as much to the 450s coming out of a turn. Um, Third, I'm going to have to put the Kawasaki. You know that bike's always been a little tall and long, but this year um, the rider area compartment does seem a little more compact. Feels like it fits me better. Um, great motor on that bike. The suspension's great. Uh, no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, a little bit loud. I wish they'd kind of get the muffler sorted out. Feels like there's no packing in it. It's super loud, but um, that's just a minor complaint, really. Um, the rest of the bikes, I really like the KTM 450 also. Like I said, I just felt a little more comfortable moving the 350 around, but the 450 is a great bike also. Uh, super great motor. I mean, going up the big hills here, uh, just pretty much everything you can handle. Suspension worked well. No issues with the suspension on the KTM 450 at all. Turned well, did a lot of things well. Maybe for me, felt a little bit wide in the back. Um, but, you know, that's a, again, just kind of a, something that didn't suit me, short little stubby legs. And uh, the Yamaha, I actually liked it quite a bit. Just doesn't seem to do some of the other things as well as the others. Doesn't turn as well as, as the Suzuki. Uh, maybe not quite as well-rounded, but I didn't have the, the issues uh, that a lot of people do with it. I really liked it. Um, the Honda, definitely had some issues getting it to turn today. Uh, getting it to settle into a turn. I couldn't find a balance with it was my biggest problem. The engine's soft and very smooth and linear, uh, but that's a trait they've had for a little while now. Uh, that didn't bother me so much. Uh, it was just that I couldn't get it balanced and get it to settle into a turn. And we tried different air pressures in the fork. I tried um, uh, opening up high-speed compression and get it to settle. Just had some issues with it. So um, anyway, all the bikes are good. I don't think you can lose picking any of them, but uh, those would be my selections. So take them how you will. Thanks for watching.